Good morning. It's Wednesday the 29th of February. Good morning. We're also ahead today. Let's tell you what's coming up here later in the programme. The Stranglers have been making music for five decades. They're still going strong. Josh Atbanel and Baz Warren will be talking to us about the latest album. The Stranglers, fantastic band. Aren't many bands from that heady punk rock era that have struck ar stuck around. The Stranglers are an exception. They've had a few lineup changes along the way, but they have released a new album. They're getting ready for your European tour too. Well, JJ Burnell and Baz Warren from the band will be with us in a moment. First, here's a look at one of their classic hits. Peaches, performed live a few years ago. <laughs> And here they are, jean jacques Bernal and Baz. Good morning, morning. to you morning. both. Morning. Morning. Well, you have a top fan, a here. A fan here. She saw you when First she was gig ever. only 12. Yeah. Your 12 parents years. let you come to see the Stranglers when you were 12. I know. And the nice and sleazy tour. And not only that, but I remember a, a certain lady getting up on stage and she was wearing a trench coat when she walked on the stage and she wasn't by the end. That's right, Linda. Is, yeah, I remember. Linda. <laughs> 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 ah, yes, that was etched on my mind. Anyway, yes. for a twelve-year-old, I'm outraged. Actually. Are you? If okay. I was your you, father, any naked ladies on the current tour? Or is it almost? You never can tell. Sometimes you know they take it upon themselves these days <laughs> <laughs> to perform that role. Yeah. There aren't that many bands. We were saying there aren't that many bands who've stuck it out for thirty-five years. Is it? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. You know, don't stop. So yeah. 1974 was when you formed. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Right. So how, what has been the secret of your longevity? Talent. <laughs> and <Very> simple. Talent. <laughs> and energy. And a thick skin, I think. Really. Why a thick skin? Actually, you, you, I remember reading an interview where you said uh, in the first few years you were hated. By who? Well, by a lot of people. It was, it was, we, were, we developed a ghetto mentality, I think. Uh, the first time we uh, realised that people wanted to... Uh, murder us. We um, we decided that uh, there were we had two choices: either run off stage or front it. Why though? I mean, you you did seem like quite a separate band because I don't I didn't see you as a, I mean you weren't hard punk, you weren't really pop. Was it because you you were a, we a new entity? We represented something. We represented something that um, the tabloids had made a big deal about. And although we weren't, uh, you know, we weren't the Sex Pistols or mm. the Clash, uh, we were the band who were playing most out, outside of the uh, metropolitan areas. And, um, yeah, it was kind of the gunslinger syndrome, you know. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll show them, those, those London types, uh, uh, you know, how <laughs> tough they really are. And, Baz, there's always been a certain darkness about it, but, I mean, partly the fact that so much black got worn. Well, you know... Here I am. There you are, and you, you're, you're holding true. When people come and see you now, is there, is, there, is there that same sort of slightly antagonistic energy that people are still getting, or, what's um, it, or is it more nostalgic? Um, no, no, it's, mix, it's a mixture of both. I mean, we, you know, we like the... Obviously, you've got to have one foot firmly in the, uh, in the new, and you can't deny a, a history of 30-odd years, so mm. there's a nod to that as well. Um, and it's great fun because most of the audience have... Well, a lot of the audience haven't got hair like like me now, you know, um, <laughs> and it's great to see all the bald heads around, <laughs> bobbing yeah. around and stuff. But then, of course, they're bringing their kids, they're bringing their own children yeah. as well. Yeah. So there's it's a generation thing, you know. Yeah. And for me, who's only been in the band 12 years, you know, which is not very You're long. A baby. Just, I'm, I'm just a baby, really. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and for those people who, who love the Stranglers and love your bass lines and that's and the keyboard, of course, keyboard riffs as well. Those things are very, very particular to the Stranglers, and they're they're very apparent in the new album as well. How do you start that songwriting? Uh, there's no rules. There are no really? rules. You know, sometimes you'll have a lyrical line, sometimes you'll have a title, sometimes you'll have a riff, sometimes you'll have a melody, and um, we just somehow we construct them from all the various bits. Like, this is no more heroes. Let's have a listen. 
Oh. No, the sound's gone. And... Hang on. Special anniversary <laughs> concert that was at the Roundhouse Inn, was it? That's mm. right, yeah. That's it was Camden, uh, it? actually yeah, 30 uh, nights, uh, 30 years to the night uh, when we'd beaten the Who and the Stones' uh, record uh, for consecutive nights at the Roundhouse. Oh. And we played the same set list. Oh, Did you? We found, that we found a copy of the same set list and we played it. Yeah. Uh, actually, your first song on your, on your album, your new album, is about Camden, isn't it? We were talking about the Roundhouse in Camden. Yeah, but that's... Is, isn't it an instrumental? Yeah, it is an instrumental, but it's kind of... A, it, was, it was not going to be, uh, but uh, when we heard the instrumentation, we just left the vocals off. It was about that... Do you remember that lady who got mugged at Euston Station? Um, and they nicked her a handbag, and then they, she chased after them, landed on the bonnet, they, and they drove over her. <gasps> mm. And I just thought it was shocking, you know. Um, but so, um, so it was just another lyrics. day at the office for them. Mm. Yeah. For the thieves, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it still the same guitar, the bass guitar, yours? Because it's, it's still very much the same. The band generally has the same sound. Is it still the same guitar? It's not actually. No, I, I'm not using a Fender anymore. I'm using a British-made guitar called a Shuka, but um, it's it's based on the Fender. Still very position, distinctive. Yeah. 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 Can, can I have a look at your fingers, the fingertips? Ooh, yeah. Well, because <laughs> she learned the bass. She learned how. To bass. No plot. Shall I just climb out of the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Camera there is, over me. There is, a reason, for the, no, there is a, there isn't reason for this because, uh, well, actually, they're not as callous they're as I soft. thought they'd be. But with all those sort of bass lines that you're doing constantly, night after night after night. What's my future? My, what's your, <laughs> you're going to live a long time. The Stranglers oh, are going to no. go on for oh, decades. Right. Oh, good. Yeah, no. but I mean, you know, it's it's hard work, isn't it? It's uh, it gets easier. It's it's actually when you play uh, uh, acoustics that you get the canvases. Yeah. Thinner, thinner strings. Yeah, mm. that's right. Yeah, uh, you. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to say this, you know, because it's Strangler's music has, although it was sort of very cutting edge and mm. rebellious at the time, it has over the years become part of the common culture to the extent that one of your songs was once used for a dance in Strictly Come Dancing. Did you know that? Really? Oh. Yeah. I did the Viennese waltz to Golden Brown. You did? I did. It was a disaster. <laughs> well, yeah, because you, you can't dance. No, the music dance. was all right. The, the you music can't was dance. You can't that on you YouTube. Can. I'd like to get, say that. If you remember you. the steps, you can. Well, it's, it, it's, not, it's not quite a waltz, because it's three uh, bars of waltz time, then one of four. Yes. That throws you. Is that where we went wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's where da, 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 yeah. It's 13 yeah. So most people say that you can't dance to Gordon Brown, but you actually tried to do it on the telly. That's why it didn't work. All these years I've been wondering. All right, guys, thanks very much. It's a pleasure meeting you both. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. Strangler's new album, Giants, is out next Monday. The tour starts this Thursday in Leeds. I'll be one of the headbangers. <laughs> uh, it's two minutes past.